All right, good morning. We are part of Team PATH, Patient Access to Transportation and Health. As you can see from our roster of the project team, we are a multidisciplinary interdepartmental collaboration. Society's toughest challenges require multi-sector solutions, and our challenge is no different. Spoiler alert, here's a sneak peek into our prototype website, the PATH website, a web-based resource for health center leadership teams to better understand transportation challenges on health, both patient health as well as organizational health, and more importantly, resources to help them actually take action to improve. So before we get into this, let me explain how we got to this prototype. Our story begins with the health center leadership team. You see here the picture was taken at a recent ribbon cutting ceremony for their latest site opening. They've been very pleased with the value that they've been able to bring to their patients, community, and their payers. They've been able to increase access to care, improve quality of care, and manage cost as well as patient satisfaction. So as they think about continuing increasing their value proposition, they look at both the external environmental threats and internal threats. They decide to focus on a troublesome internal threat to their value proposition, missed appointments. They check their missed appointment rate at the health center and realize 25% of their appointments are missed. When they look at further into this and talk to their care coordinators and their outreach team, they realize that one of the key contributors to missed appointments is a lack of reliable transportation. Missed appointments could be costing this health center as much as $400,000 a year in direct cost, not to mention the extremely higher rate of indirect cost associated with if they don't keep their patients healthy and they have to utilize higher expensive more forms of care, that's going to impact their bottom line. So what does the team decide to do? Well, they need to figure out a way to address their transportation challenges. They start with the default Googling things. When they're not successful, they check with their state and national association. Unfortunately, they quickly realize that transportation is an issue for health centers that no one has really uncovered or figured out how to address. This example that I gave you of a health center leadership team, the challenge of space by them, is a microcosm of the issues faced by a network of health centers all across the country, 9,000 service delivery sites and 21 million patients. So given this health center's dilemma and the um, cross-collaboration and um, cross-missions of the agencies that came together on this, our team decided that this was a project and a problem that we could definitely work to address. Over the course of our project, we interviewed 33 different individuals to validate the problem as well as identify potential solutions. And you can see here a listing of the folks that we spoke to very much across health center, aging network, and mobility and transportation providers. What we learned in these interviews is that folks in health centers know what the challenges are, but they need the help to determine the bottom line impact on their, on their programs. They want to be able to take action, but they need a clear starting point. And they also know that there are resources out there. They just need to be connected to them. We heard it over and over again, connectivity is a big issue for us. As one of the persons we spoke to said, online resources are a win if you can package them in a way that speaks to the nuanced needs that health centers face. And so it was with this knowledge in mind that we went ahead as a team and developed a prototype for what we call PATH, Patient Access to Transportation and Health. This is a picture of the home page, and we envision um, a number of different functionalities for this website. A locator tool, which I'll get to in a second, as well as a missed appointment calculator. But we also will have plans and ideas for organizational assessment tools, as well as a resource library. The home page, of course, like any other home page, is the gateway to the rest of the website. The first tool that we've really conceptualized and we co-designed co with a number of the folks that we interviewed is our PATH locator. It's a tool that would be based on GIS data that already exists, we would pull it together that would help community health center staff locate existing mobility options in their area, funding streams, program partners, um, as well as a map of information and resources that would be available to them to connect to to figure out what they need. The missed appointment calculator was the other tool that we conceptualized. This is based on our partner, the VA. A, a tool like this is already in use in the VA medical center system and is really helping health centers put a bottom line on what missed appointments are costing their health center. We, would, we envisioned this missed appointment calculator as being able to serve as a planning tool, helping a health center build the business case, whether it's with their board or with leadership and management, but also using the information that they know as a grant writing resource to go after some of the, of the nearly 80 different funding streams that are available through the federal government. We co-designed our prototype with a number of the folks we interviewed. We got tremendous feedback. One of the most promising um, bits of feedback was that we, we actually had one community say, we want to pilot this if you can build it. 
So for our path forward, we, we want to seek exec continued executive leadership support for our agencies to work together. We, want to, we would like to further refine our prototype and concept. It still needs work. And then ultimately pilot test it in, in several communities. Thanks. So I, I like the idea of how you've introduced this. And it, this is a real problem in, in the industry, and not just for patient care, but for the ability to reduce costs, you know, there's so much opportunity here. I see where you've used technologies and some things, which is great. No one seems to have figured this out entirely. These don't look like they're technologies and, and things that are brand new. So what is the key to this success that you're, you're, you've pulled together and you have a plan, but what makes it different than what's been out there already and has failed? I think, I think for us, it's, it's not developing a top-down approach. What we envision is that this tool would allow a health center to explore what's out there, do an organizational assessment of, of this issue in their facility or their clinic, and then with the resources we would bring together in this website, determine their way forward and what they're going to do. Are they going to partner to get the transportation they need? Are they going to go after a grant themselves? Do they have that kind of bandwidth? But really centralizing the resources for them so that the health center, who may be very limited on time and staff, doesn't have to do that for themselves. I'm about to make myself a broken record. This is the third project that I've seen that I know there's things going on in the private sector that we could be utilizing. This one strikes me, where are Uber and Lyft? Mm -hmm. Why aren't they already doing this? Well, that's true, that's true. And um, we, we see the, um, the concept of mobility management, getting folks where they need to go on the most appropriate transportation resource of, that's available as a continuum from the, very, the most basic, which is resources and programs talking to one another, all the way on up to a, a, an Uber or a Lyft type of concept. And if that's available in a community that could, help this re, that could help this health center meet the transportation needs, then by all means they would be part of this, uh, this resource database that a health center could tap. But we don't think it's an out of the box solution for health centers, as you know they're in the most underserved, you know, rural, vulnerable communities. And um, basically- not, not all of them. Not all of them. I worked right. with two of them in the middle of Kansas City. Right, but even in those areas, because we talked to folks in both Colorado and in Atlanta, um, while there's a wide range of transportation resources available, one of the things that we stumbled upon in talking with both the transportation sector, disabilities and aging, as well as community health centers, is no one's bringing these things together. And there's the various issues that are just very germane to public and bureaucracy, public funding. There's different streams, so if you're a Medicaid patient, you can get this, but they only take you to the county line. If you're a Medicare patient, you can get that, and you can't cross over. So this was a first step at bringing all of these resources together in a way that makes sense for the citizenry. There, there, sir, you're correct. There certainly are differences in the rural community. But in urban communities, yeah. there are alternatives available and, and have been for a long time. Right. right. And this would allow um, the, the community that, where the health center resides to determine what their level of need is. Um, have, have you guys uh, talked to the team from CDC and Emory at all uh, about this? Because it, it strikes me that this could be an interesting solution for their care coordinators when they see a, a matching risk score. Yeah, they, they actually sat next to us in boot camp and we talked. And so, yeah, we do see a lot of, of connections between the work that they're doing around, because if one of their predictors of missed appointments is the lack of transportation, then here this could, this right. could serve as a, as a nice build on to that, yeah. I'll just add a, a quick thought. One thing I think it would be really fun to explore, because I'm not sure that I saw in your interviews uh, talking to the actual patients who can't get there and understanding why they can't get there. Um, and, and you know, who knows, maybe, maybe what you do here actually can be used both ways. Maybe it's actually more cost effective to send docs to them rather than trying to, trying to bring them to the hospital. Uh, it, so I would just encourage you to continue kind of exploring the problem and talking to some other, uh, some other constituents. Yeah. That's, we definitely know that we need to further refine our ideas and, and concepts, absolutely. Any other questions, guys? No? All right, thank All you right. very much. Thanks.